What's up, YouTube? Have a coming to you, Captain Awesome Fish Room, Jeff Crohn's Bro Vibe, bringing y'all another video. Uh, just gonna walk through some tanks today, show y'all some things that I'm excited about, some things that I think are really cool, and I hope y'all enjoy the journey I'm about to take you on. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I make videos every week. I make two, three, four, sometimes even five videos a week. Um, and I really enjoy and love this hobby, have a huge passion for it, so hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get today's show started. Alright guys, it wouldn't be right unless we started at the Fajaca Puffer tank. Cletus, the Fajaca Puffer. You can see, he's really starting to put on some size, and his personality is just out of this world. And, you know, you wouldn't expect a personality sim sim similar to a cichlid out of, you know, something that's not a cichlid, but... Oh, here's what I was talking about. Check out these bristle nose plecos, guys. They are loving some of this half shell clam, and then, of course, Cletus comes over there and says, Hey, that's mine. But uh, a few things I just wanted to show y'all probably already seen in a uh, recent video here is this uh, gold Anubius Nana, gold leaf. Uh, looking pretty good, looking pretty good. Got the Crinum calamus Calamistronum right there. Uh, it's starting to pick up, starting to put out a little bit of rootage, and uh, starting to perk up a little bit. The key to planting these things, those guys, is you see this little white part, if I can get my finger, that little white part right there, you want to keep that out of the substrate, and then right where the roots start is where you want to put it into the substrate for it to root down and grow. Now, it might move on you a little bit. In that case, you might want to just put you know, a few a few stones around it or something like that, but you do not want to bury it because it'll make that onion bulb looking thing rot. Uh, so, a little tip there. Uh, the java moss in this tank is just blowing up. And, as I said, look at, see? Look at these guys. Look. Fooled you, I'm going to go back and get some more funny fish. But anyways, enough of this tank. Let's go check out my planted tank and uh, see what's going on over there. And we'll be right back. Alrighty daddy guys, we're over here at the 50 long subscriber planted tank and I have to say it is looking miraculous to me. I'm really loving the way it's turning out. Now you can see down in the front here, I got rid of a lot of the dwarf baby tears. I just wasn't feeling it. Uh, they were growing okay, and they were spreading and stuff. I kept a few in there, a few of the really good patches, but I just ripped a lot of it out. And without giving away a secret, I'll tell you why. I have another plant coming that is so, so hard to find. You're not even going to believe it when you see it. And it is B-E-A-U-T-Full. And that's what I'm going to use as my carpet. Uh, the person that I'm getting it from, I explained my system to her, and she said that this plant will do perfect in here. There will be a little transition period, and it will take off, and I'll have to mow it like I mow my front lawn. So, really excited about that, and we're going to keep that a secret until it comes. You can see the down oil here getting really, really thick. I need to get in there and trim it and see what i got to do. See what I'm going to do with it, but uh, also got rid of the Blixa Japonica. Uh, I mean, it's a beautiful plant, guys, don't get me wrong, but it just wasn't doing it for me inside of this tank. It just, it just didn't have its place, if that makes sense in here. 
it just it just wasn't working for me. So uh, as I mentioned in the last video, you can see I got some dwarf hair grass and uh, you know certain places. Here's the dwarf baby tear sections that I kept. They're spreading really well. You can see. Well, let me get it to focus so y'all can see it better. There you go. They're starting to spread, look pretty good. This little patch right here is doing really, really good. Let me try to see if I can get it to focus a little bit better. Has a little Dwarf Puffers photo bomb us here. Uh, if y'all saw on Facebook, I posted a little video of my Viper Shrimp that I have in here. So if you follow me on Facebook, you saw that. It was a real treat to see. Uh, because they are a really reclusive animal, so you don't really get to see them that often. Uh, but let's see, other plants going on in here. We got the Hygrophilia pinnatifida. You can see that there, and then miscellaneously mixed up in, in uh, back there. And then the Ludwigia ripens. We got that rocking back there. And then, of course, one of my favorite plants of all time, Hygrophilia polysperma sunset that is a gorgeous plant guys i love that plant you can see i got it rocking over here as well uh trying to create that that bush look and the blue hygro over here just trimmed it today and replanted uh so i'm trying to fill up that space now the red crypts i have in here they're starting to they're starting to root in a little bit i had to replug some of those plecos in there kind of like digging stuff up but you can see that leaf back there perking up a little bit uh, so I'm hoping to fill this corner. I'm hoping that sword does something soon. Uh, and then fill up the rest of this corner out past this lily with crypts up to right where that subwasser tank comes in uh, is what I plan to do with that. And, and speaking of the subwasser tank, guys, this plant is awesome. Now, it won't root to anything, so you have to kind of tuck it in and keep it tucked in and once you get it inside of a good spot it'll kind of stay there but as it grows you're gonna have to pluck it off and of course you know either save it sell it or move it to a different spot uh, the mini bulbatus doing great got it in that rock that's what I wanted it for is that little spot right there I think it looks excellent there uh, java fern just being java fern growing really slow uh, this plant uh, that slips my mind as of what the name of it is. Uh, anyways, it's doing great. And everything else is just doing well in here, guys. Uh, just did a water change. Uh, you know, I've been using new algae on this tank. And, you know, it's, I mean, the, the colors in the plants and just the overall appearance of the tank is just bomb. I mean... I don't know if you can see the colors on this Hygrophilia polysperma sunset back there, but imagine that pink back there ten times more intensified, and that's what color it is, guys. It is amazing. And then, of course, we have the Hygrophilia SP Tiger right here. Uh, it's already starting to take off. A lot of your Hygrophilias, guys, really, really easy plants to grow, so... Uh, with that said, I think we're done checking out the planted tank, so I think we're going to go and check out one more thing, and then I'll let you go for the day, so we'll be right back. Okay guys, so we are back, and we are at Kronos' tank, and the reason I want to end with this fish is because he is just impressive. Just impressive, okay? He's been biting at that gate, so he busted his lip up a little bit. But look at this fish. Look at his nuchal hump. Look at his body profile. Look at his finage. Look at his colors, guys. Uh, you know, this, this is by far one of the best Gorilla Blue Umbies I've, I've ever seen. Besides this guy's father, this is... In my opinion, the best Gorillas Blue Umby I've ever seen. I mean, of course, his father is awesome looking, and that's just because, you know, he's the original gene pool of this guy, but, whoo, look at that fish. I mean, he is enormous, guys. This right here, I can't remember exactly how big that pot is, but you can see as he passes it, uh, he dwarfs the pot, okay? 
and the glare kind of sucks. I'm going to try to block it out. There's a good view, but this fish is just amazing, guys. If you have a chance to get you a Gorillas Blue Umby and you have a tank large enough to house one, go ahead and do it, okay? They, their personalities don't really come out. Uh, I mean, you really, really have to work with these fish, guys. Uh, they're not they're not the overly, you know, personable type of fish. Uh, but when you work with them, they get used to you. And, you know, I, they, I mean, they're a great wet pet. This guy has been a great, great wet pet. And for those of you out there that also follow me on Facebook, know that this guy is for sale. Serious inquiries only, guys. I don't want to entertain... Oh, well, maybe I can. You know, be serious. If you're interested in them, we can talk, negotiate, whatever. But uh, until then, this guy is going to stay with me, and he is just gorgeous. So with that said, make sure you all head over to Aquatic Support Systems on Facebook. Like that page. All the links are inside the description, making it really easy for you. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you all are thinking. This is what I'm doing. This is what I've done. Happy fish keeping. And stay true to the hobby, guys. Peace.